recall that we had previously built the APK file. I'm just going to do it one more time. You can see that we're getting a message from Android Studio that it has finished building the APK file. By clicking on this blue Show in Explorer window, there are going to be two versions of the app created. One is unaligned. Uh, either one is going to be fine for us to download into the phone. I'll just take this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this file now and we're going to store it somewhere in the web where we have access to a link. Here I am in my virtual notebook. You can store the file here, or if you don't have a virtual notebook, you can store it anywhere on the web where you can get access to a link. So I'm going to click on one of these folders where I can store the file. And I'm just going to come down here where it says Add Files, and I'm going to add that file. Now the file has been uploaded into the web, and I'm going to get a link to it by right-clicking on this and copying the link address. We now need to create a barcode with that link so we're going to use a free barcode creator called QR Code Monkey. You want to take the link that you've saved previously and place it right here. Afterwards click on the QR Code Generator button here shown in green. That will generate a unique QR code for you. Then using a barcode or QR code reader on your cell phone or mobile device scan the QR code which will then download the app into your phone. It is important to understand that after the app has been downloaded it will still not be visible as an app on your cell phone until you install it. To install it you may first have to turn on the trust unknown sources option in your cell phone. When you click on the app to open it you should see the words Hi World displayed on your screen. Because the process to download an APK file and run it from the phone is so tedious you might find as you work through the exercises in this course that using the emulator is a better option for debugging than actually getting it to run on the phone.